we are. I'm, your, I'm the host. I'm also your first comic. So I guess I'll just start by telling you guys a bit about me. Uh, my name's Ian. Uh, I, was, I was homeschooled growing up. That's a real thing about me. I was homeschooled. And I, and I liked it, but it was kind of different, right? Like with uh, homeschooling, we never did any grades, right? Like every single day, no matter how I did, my mom just told me she loved me. <laughs> yeah. And now I can't read. So it was just a horrible system. It didn't work at all. You know, I was stupid. I, I joke. I liked it, but it wasn't perfect, right? Like I have a friend who thinks it's insane that I was homeschooled. Like I was talking to him recently. He said, you see, it's like this. You're supposed to go to high school, right? And hate it. And it prepares you to grow up and get a job that you also hate. Yeah. And I told him, right? I was like, yeah, but I love my school experience. And now I have a job that I also love. And he said, uh, fuck you. Uh, yeah. He was trying to bully me, but I've never been bullied before. I was like, is this bullying? Is it happening? Oh, it hurts profusely. Oh. I'm sorry, you can't hurt me. I was tucked in every night by my sex ed teacher. Okay, you know what that does? For your confidence, every single night, she'd tuck me in and she'd tuck a condom into a banana and make me banana bread for lunch. Okay, that's love right there. It's a good childhood, and I stand behind it. You know, really, it was good. I really, I, it really was a good childhood. Like, my mom tried really hard, I think, to teach me and my siblings good values. Uh, like, growing up, she used to read me and my sister's stories, and whenever there's a story about, like, a princess or anything, she'd always change the word of beautiful to smart, right? So all our stories about the smartest princess in all the land. Uh, and I think it worked out really well, right? Because my sister, she grew up to become incredibly smart and horrifically ugly. Uh, like, oh, God, it was, uh, it was like a ghoul, really. Uh, okay, you know, that sounds mean, but, you know, it's, I'm joking, don't worry, it's a joke. My sister is very attractive. So. No, and that's. <laughs> I guess that sounds bad, too, but, you know. Uh, when you're homeschooled, it's a small dating pool, so I don't know, you know, I have a lot of options. You know, it was her, the cat. I can't take the cat out. I asked, it said no, but it was. I am dating, I'm dating, my sister left me, so I'm dating, I'm trying to figure that world out. I'm so bad at it, right, I always screw it up. Like I'm on dating apps and stuff, and I always find women on dating apps, I always say they're looking for a guy with a sense of humor, and then I'll make a joke, and they go, not like that. I usually, like I came across this woman recently, wrote on her dating profile, only message me if you have a definition for consent. So I messaged her, and I said I have a definition for consent but I wouldn't want to force it on you. <laughs> and uh, she uh, did not respond. <laughs> I told a friend about that. He's like, yeah, at least you get a fun little comedy bit out of it. You know, I was like, I would rather have a girlfriend. So you know, it's not quite the same. You know, it's a little different, but I'm trying to figure it out. I always screw it up somehow, it doesn't, even when the d actual date is in person, you know? Like I had this happen not long ago, uh, I was on a date with this woman, and at the end of the date, uh, by my house there's like a nice lookout spot where you can see the whole city. So I took her up there and we were looking out, uh, and then I, she asked me, kind of out of the blue, she was like, so how many, uh, how many women have you brought up here before? And I was just like, so many. <laughs> Do you think I'm saving this spot for you? Are you insane? Do you see that skyline? And she got really upset, right? She's like, that's what you do? You just bring women up here? You know, I was like, no, I don't just bring women up here, okay? I do the whole same date with them, okay? We go to the same Thai food spot, then we go to the same bar, then we come up here. You know how this date is going well? Practice, okay? Yeah, I've been putting in the hours for you specifically, okay? Yeah, you should be upset I brought other women up here. You should be grateful, okay? Yeah, you know what? We got blankets and wine because the last women I brought up here were cold and thirsty. So I've been incrementally improving this date for you specifically. And she was still upset, but that's okay, because I mean, she just became part of the beta test, okay? Yes, yeah, because the next time a woman asked me, how many women have you brought up here before? I'm gonna say, you're the first, you know? It's all a learning process. We're all in it together, you know, kind of figuring things out a bit. Oh, man. I, I, I would say my dating style, I'm probably what you'd call a bull, honestly, I think, that's what it, because if I see a red flag, I'm going in. I'm like, let's do this, okay, honestly. I'm, if I'm flirting with you after the show, get a better therapist, okay? Something is broken within you, but yeah. I always screw it up somehow. I had this happen another time. I was with this woman, and we were back at her place, uh, and I realized she had a copy of the video game Super Smash Bros. You know? And I mentioned to her, right, I was like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at this game. 
And she was being all cool and flirty, and she was like, well, how about this? How about we play against each other, right? And every time you lose a life, you have to take off an article of clothing, you know? And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so seven minutes later, she was completely nude. I had never had on more clothing in my life. I, mean, I was just completely... And she was still kind of dropping hints. of like, oh, it's kind of cold. Maybe we should go to my bedroom. And I was just like, oh, we're not going to stop playing just because you're losing. I'm sorry I'm <laughs> dominating you right now, okay? I got your clothes off coming back for your fake eyelashes, okay? Yeah. You came against the champ, okay? You got to bring your A game, you know? It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. You know? Put in the work. Put in the hours. I crushed her. I'm always, I don't know. I, when it comes to dating, I don't even really know what I'm looking for, honestly. Like, I think I'm just looking for what I can't have. Like, I recently told this woman that I said, I think I'm just looking for something casual. And she was like, that's great, me too. And I was like, I love you. I don't, I don't know. Move in with me, be my mom, homeschool me. I've been a naughty boy. I don't know what I want. I, I think my, my, my real problem, I think, is I'm just very immature. I'm too immature for like real adult conversations, right? Like I had this happen the other day. Uh, someone called me who I had hooked up with in the past. And they said, hey, just so you know, uh, I just tested positive for gonorrhea. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you need to go get tested. And I told her, right? I was like, you know, that's horrible. Uh, but we used a condom, so I think I, I should be totally fine. And she said, well, here's the problem. Uh, you were actually exposed because the gonorrhea uh, is in my throat. <laughs> which is horrible. Uh, but also... <laughs> Let's fucking go! Woo! Okay, here, we, here we go. Oh! Man. You're gonna wash your hand, but... Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh man, go squad, you know. Right? It's true. I went to the I went to the doctor to get tested, uh, and he said he was very professional. He was like, "Ah, oh, Mr. Levy, I see you're in here due to exposure to gonorrhea." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And I asked him, right? I said, uh, "Does it matter how I was exposed to gonorrhea?" Uh, and he said, "No, not particularly. It doesn't matter." And I said, uh, would you like to know how I was exposed to gonorrhea? <laughs> and he said, sure, how were you exposed? And I said, uh, the gonorrhea, uh, it was in her throat. Yeah. <laughs> and the doctor, he said, <laughs> and then he sucked my dick, okay guys? Are you guys ready to get a real comedy show started? Oh! 